Hello investors, welcome back to your number one place for all your investing needs. So we're back and today we're going to be discussing the top seven penny stocks for the month of September. Now, obviously, these are going to be penny stocks that have good potential as they are going through phase one, two, three data or they're going through the FDA PDUFA data, which we obviously know that typically has a very higher success rate as the drug has progressed further on in the stages, which means that they have a higher chance of being successful as they made it further on. Now, before we get into the list, uh, let's take a quick second, please, guys, and uh, smash that like button for me. Let's try to get over 200 likes on this video. I'd really appreciate it. Obviously, leave a comment below what penny stocks you're looking at or any stocks that you guys uh, are seeing that I'm not going to mention in this video. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I make videos on penny stocks, dividend stocks, uh, growth stocks, all types of dividend investing. And we're going to try to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So let's get into the countdown. Get things started, we're going to go with the number seven pick. So the number seven pick for September is going to be ticker symbol VRNA. So VRNA is currently trading at $6.55, down about 2% as of the closed. The drug that is being looked at is going to be right there, and this is going to be a phase 2B. This phase 2B data is going to be on uh, September 8th, 2020. And obviously, we're going to take a quick look here at the chart, and this stock has been doing amazing, actually. It's been doing pretty good. Obviously, we always mention here when the market crashed, it went down to about $2. So since then, it's done about 200% gain because it's currently trading at $6.69. Um, as you can see here, we had a few pops and then right here, volume. Look at that volume. That's something we always talk about. 95 million shares traded. Usually this stock trades like 50,000 shares or less per day. So 95 million shares right there. Huge jump from $4 all the way up here to about what? It was trading at, you know, close to $10 or at $10, a little bit higher. Obviously we pulled back because that was such a huge, you know, jump. But right here, we're going to consistently look for a, um, you know, a consolidation kind of area right there around this six to seven dollar area. If we can consolidate and obviously start to trend back up, um, if we can get some positive news out of this one, it could definitely keep on running. Now, that doesn't always have to be, you know, the truth. It doesn't always have to go up. It could be a type of a sell the news type of event where uh, even with positive news, the stock sells off because it's ran up so, so high. But this stock has not been running up that high. So I don't really see that happening with this one. I think that if we have positive news, this one could definitely pop. And if we break that $10 resistance area right there, the stock could continue to go. And maybe we could hit 10, 11, 12, you know, 13, 14, possibly even $15 per share, depending on how uh, big the news is and how everything goes with this one. So that's the number seven pick. The number six pick is going to be ticker symbol LPCN. We've talked about this one in the past, actually, in the previous stage. Currently trading at $1.29, up about 2.38% as of the close. And this is going to be a drug for men with low testosterone. So I definitely remember talking about this one in the past, guys. Um, this is going to be a PDUFA. Ding, ding, ding. You guys know what that means. PDUFA has a higher success rate as they've made it further on through the stages. So this is something that we're going to be looking at. Obviously, right here, it says no new PDUFA data issued the decision likely in coming weeks. So we don't have a specific date. But, you know, it's going to be happening sometime soon. Now, something to look at here is obviously this one, since the Rona started, uh, it was trading at about $0.32, cents and it's been just slowly going up, 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 and right here, you know, came about $2.23. Now it's making a pullback all the way down to about $1.29. Um, obviously, what we want to see is a consolidation area right there. We wanted to make a little support area around that $1 area. We don't want it to continue to drop. But another, another thing is volume is picking up. So if we look here in the past month, volume has been picking up. 11 million shares here, 5 million. We had a high right here of about 18 or 19 million shares. And, you know, as, as um, volume is picking up, that means that more people are going to be looking at this one. And what we're going to be obviously looking for is with this PDUFA data, obviously, if this gets a successful uh, rating, this is going to hopefully fly. That's what we're expecting. And hopefully we can pass through that $2 uh, support area up here or resistance area, actually, my bad. If we can break that through that $2 resistance area, we could just see a flyer. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that this one can continue to run up to the news until the news actually gets announced. We don't have a specific date, so we, we don't really know what to expect or when to expect it, but we know that it's going to be coming up in the next few weeks. So this one is definitely one of the top ones on my radar. Now, here's one with just the beginning uh, phases. So this is going to be ticker symbol AGTC coming in at number five, currently trading at $5.86, up about... 0.69% as of the close, and this is going to be the drug AGTC 501. So this is going to be a phase 1-2, and it's going to be on uh, September 9, 2020. 
phase 1-2 pre uh, preliminary visual sensitivity data from group 5 due September 9, 2020. Full interim data analysis due fourth quarter of 2020. So this one is just beginning, but that's not, you know, something that do doesn't mean that we're interested in it. So obviously this one was down here trading at around $2 uh, at the beginning of the year when everything started to crash. And, you know, it's went up over 100% since then as it's been running up, made a high here about $7 per share. And now right here, this is what we're, we've been talking about in this video. This is the consolidation that we like to see. So we kind of made this support area around this $5 area. Now, if we obviously break below $5 or lower, then we could keep on going down and kind of like a falling knife type situation where, you know, you drop the knife off the counter and it just keeps going until it hits something. Well, that's exactly what could happen with this one if it breaks through that uh, support area and goes down. But one thing to keep an eye on out is right here it says short term, mid term, and long term bullish, bullish, bullish. Boom, we're all bullish. <laughs> so, uh, right here, uh, obviously, we're going to hope to see a nice uh, support area, like we said. Resistance, if we can break through to $7, the next stop is going to be up here about $9 per share. Um, so, obviously, this one is going to be a long term uh, look, you know, eye forward because this one is at, you know, the beginning stages. So, we're going to have to keep on looking through these stages in the next couple months, years, however long it takes, and see how uh, far this drug has progressed. All right, so we're about to talk about the number four stock. But before we do that, if you guys made it this far into the video, like I said, go ahead and smash that like button. Let's try to get over 200 likes on this video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And now let's go. Number four. Number four is going to be ticker symbol MNK. Currently trading at $1.48, up about 4.96% as of the close. The drug that is being looked at is going to be right here. And this is going to be a PDUFA data. Once again, another PDUFA. And as we mentioned earlier, these have a higher success rate as they've, you know, progressed through these stages, phase one, two, three. Um, and now they're at the PDUFA. So this is going to be on September 12, 2020. Uh, PDUFA data, September 12, 2020. Advisory committee meeting, July 15, 2020. Voted 8 to 7 that the benefits outweighed the risks. So this one, um, you know, it's actually trading at where it was about, you know, four or five months ago. Um, it's trading about $1.41 and it's been trending down. So we're going to need some positive news. If we can get some positive news with this one, it could pop. But this one is not going to be our best, you know, play right here, honestly, because this one is very dangerous. A lot of different things could happen. I would definitely not suggest holding any penny stocks, obviously, overnight if I was investing into them. But we're going to hope for a little pop at least on some positive news. I mean, if this drug has some positive data behind it, we could have a, a little bit of a pop at least. And that's what uh, I'm going to be looking at it, in my opinion, just to try to scalp a 10 percent, maybe 15 percent gain on this one. I mean, as you can see, it already went up 5 percent on Friday. So 10 percent, 15 percent, just some small gains, nothing too major. Um, just a quick play is what I'm going to be looking at with this one. Number three for the month of September is going to be ticker symbol ETON. Trading at $7.26, down about half a percent as of the close. The drug that is being looked at is going to be for EM-100. And this is going to be another PDUFA data. So once again, PDUFA data, higher success rate. Definitely something that we want to keep an eye out on. This is the third one in this video. So we have three very, very big chances uh, of success right here. So this one is going to be September 15, 2020. And if we take a look right here at the chart, beautiful, beautiful chart. It was trading down here when the Rona happened about $2.87. So it's definitely went up over 100%, close to 150% gain since then. So nice, you know, run up right here. Currently at $7.30. Kind of uh, at this uh, support slash resistance area, actually, that I'm seeing. Um, if we can continue to pop up, that's going to be a positive thing because I believe that this one could continue to run. Um, you know, if we look at the further chart out, I mean, this stock has been trading amazingly in the past two years at least. So um, definitely one to keep an eye out on for sure. And another thing is volume is pick, picking up right here. 2.3 million shares right here, 7 million shares. And we can see the volume is slowly picking up about 2.5 million shares right there. Uh, so definitely keep a very, very close eye out on this one. I think that this is going to be one of our best picks for the month, especially since it's a PDUFA. It's very, very bullish in my opinion, especially in the long term with this drug. So I'm going to be keeping a very close eye on this one. If we break through this $8, I believe they can continue to run and hopefully hit $10 plus. All we need is some good volume, some positive data, and you know a lot of investors to believe in what's going to happen with this one. So definitely one to keep an eye out on. Number two on the list is going to be ticker symbol IMMP. Trading at $1.27, down about 1.5% as of the close. The drug is being looked at is right here, and it's going to be a phase one. So beginning stages, obviously, so this one is not going to be nothing major, but it is on September 17, 2020, 
and then also it has another drug so this is going to be the second drug down here it's a little bit different this one is 004 this one is 002 and this one is for the non-small non cell lung cancer head and neck cancer and this one appears for solid tumors so this one is a phase one data this one is a phase two data so we have two different ones coming out on the same day september 17th um, that is actually a good thing because if if there's a you know whatever happens we'll see but let's just say one was negative and then the other one was positive if that other one that is positive outweighs the other one that is negative that could potentially give us a little pop and that's something we're going to look at um you know right here we saw look at that volume right here 54 million shares got traded the stock jumped from one dollar and ten cents up here to about a dollar 46 cents about a 30 percent uh, 30 cent gain right there not too bad about 20 percent a little higher than 20 percent gain real quick on that volume so this this one we just need volume so if we can get some volume actually in the next couple of days that's going to be amazing uh right right here as we can see actually it's it's a very very nice support just like it had here it was support 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 breakout now we have support 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 hopefully we have another breakout hopefully we can you know run through this two dollar area if we can break through the two dollar area we can continue to uh trend on up so that's another one that we're going to be definitely keeping a very cl close eye out on as it has two different things going on with it and finally the number one penny stock for the month of september is going to be ticker symbol agen trading at three dollars 92 cents down about 2.24 percent as the close and this is going to be a drug for cervical cancer right here as we can see and it's going to be a phase two data on september 18 2020 so this one right now, as we can see, you know, with the charts, it was trading down here about $2 per share, uh, made 100% gain already. It's at $4 per share right now. Uh, you know, we had this nice volume right here. Look at this. How many shares? 16 million shares. A couple of days of very nice volume. The stock popped from $2.50 all the way up here to about $4.20. Obviously, it went back down a little bit, and then we started to run back up. And now we're kind of uh, doing kind of like a coil type thing, and it's hopefully going to continue to trend up. Obviously, once again, we're always looking for positive data. We're looking for some, you know, good news to come out, some, uh, you know, support with the drug that's going on and hopefully uh, progress into the next stage of the, you know, of the trials. And then hopefully it can continue to trend on up and past the $5 area and hopefully even higher and higher as we go with some decent volume as well. So we're going to hope that the volume picks up as we can see all these days right here where volume picks up, either the stock goes down a lot or the stock goes up a lot. So volume is definitely a big key, especially with these cheap penny stocks because volume can definitely push it, make it or break it pretty much. Okay guys, and to wrap things up, so those are the top seven penny stocks for the month of September. Obviously this is for the beginning of September. So halfway through September, I will be making a part two of this video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you guys can get notified when I upload that video. Turn on the bell notification so it comes into your inbox. And obviously smash that like button so we can get over 200 likes on this video. Leave a comment below what penny stocks you're looking at or if there's a penny stock that I didn't mention and I should keep an eye out on, maybe mention it in the next video. And also, fair warning guys, um, obviously all of these are my opinion. So this is just for entertainment, entertainment purposes. And, you know, I'm not a financial advisor, so before you invest into any type of stocks, penny stocks or blue chip stocks, dividend stocks, do your own research before investing. Talk to a financial advisor or, you know, somebody else. Uh, make sure you do your own research. If you've never traded, paper trade with fake money on Thinkorswim. That way you will not be losing your hard uh, earned money that you, you know, worked hard for. Uh, but, yeah, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.